So we're out here today with our Sun Titan off-grid solar trailer, and we need to do a little bit of irrigation with our sprinklers. And off to the side here, we have our three horsepower EcoSteady booster pump. Now this has soft start and it's a 220 volt pump, but I'm gonna show you how quickly we can deploy our trailer, get it all set up and start irrigating, running our sprinklers, our drip line, running livestock water, whatever you need with these EcoSteady booster pumps. So while I have the pump for today mounted over on a pallet, up here on the front of our trailer, we have what's called the power platform. And this is a great location to mount any auxiliary items. We can do a light tower here. We can also do a generator, but also if you want to add anything else, like a three horsepower EcoSteady booster pump, you could mount it up front here and have it permanently affixed and wired in. So you can pull up to your location, hook up a couple of hoses and start your irrigation. So we have our solar trailer in position here. I'm going to leave it hooked up for the truck so I don't need to take out the stabilizing jacks. First thing I want to do is I'm going to get my solar panel set up and then I'm going to get the pump running because I'm going to be running this for a while. So I want to make sure I'm getting a little bit of charge back into those batteries. They're fully charged, but I want to keep them topped off while I'm running this pump today. So we can come lock our retaining clips down and deploy our lower solar panels. Then we can deploy our side panels here, both our lower and our upper side panels. Head on to the other side, get our other side panels out. And so I don't love this tilt angle, this would be fine, um, but I do wanna tilt it up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab the hydraulics controller and tilt up our solar panels. Super nice magnetic controller. It mounted here and then deploy and put our solar panels up to optimize our sun angle and make sure we're charging up while we're running this pump today. Great, got our solar panels up. Let's jump over here. So come over to this side. I had all the power on. If you did want to turn it off for uh, transportation, it's in here. We'll turn on our two solar rays. That's gonna provide power from the solar arrays into our all-in-one inverter. And that all-in-one inverter is doing a couple of things. First of all, it's taking the power from our solar panels. And if it's not needed for our load, here we have our batteries. In this case, is an L10 trailer. So it has two lithium iron batteries. They're right around five kilowatt hours for each battery for a total of 10 kilowatt hours on this trailer. And like I said, this is lithium iron technology. And so it's the latest technology for solar panel storage. And it's gonna optimize your storage, make sure the most amount of the solar power coming down is gonna be stored in your batteries. But we also do have lead acid options if you wanna go with the lead acid batteries. But otherwise then, our charge controller and hybrid inverter here is doing all the rest. And so it's taking the power from the solar panels and it's acting as this charge controller for our batteries. Then at the same time, it's a 10 kilowatt inverter supplying all that power here to our output panel. So it is supplying 10 kilowatts. That's 50 amps at 220 volts. So we have our 50 amp plug here. And then we also have our 30 amp plug here and then 20 amp plug here, which is GFCI protected. And so this is gonna supply 220 with our neutral. This one's gonna be 110. And this is very common for RVs. So if you need to plug in your RV, it's great to plug in here. And this is just for everyday appliances, whether you're running a heat gun, a nail gun, an air compressor, whatever you need, you can plug it in here. But for today with this pump, since it's a 220 volt pump, we're gonna plug it in here. I'll grab the cord. And so in this case, our pump has a different type of connector. This is a L14-30 connector. This is a super common type, but it's slightly different from this 50 amp cord, which is much more common. You'll see this on dryers or other large appliances, but no big deal. There's adapter cables available. We can plug our adapter cable in here. That's gonna convert from here down to our L14-30. And then for our EcoSteady pump that has this cord on it, I'll plug it in and that's gonna provide power to our system. So let's go ahead on over. We're gonna check out the pump and see how that's operating. We've got our pump over here. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a three horsepower EcoSteady booster pump with soft start. And so with this inverter, it's gonna do around the 10,000 watts. Um, that's gonna start around a one and a half, sometimes a two horsepower motor, depending on the exact type of motor you have. But we can start bigger motors if we have soft start. So in this case, we have a three horsepower with soft start. We go all the way up to a five, sometimes a seven and a half horsepower pump if you have the soft start on it. And so this pump is on. 
And it's gonna be as simple as turning on where we need the water and letting all the sprinklers fire up back behind us. And so now what this system is doing is it's taking power from the solar panels. If there's excess power, it's sending some of that power over here to the pump and the rest of the batteries. I think today, since the panels aren't quite facing the right direction, we're getting some sunlight on the panels and then we're supplementing that with previously stored battery power and that's all going in the inverter being sent over this pump to pump our water and send it out to our sprinklers here. So as you can see, it was super quick to install, get everything set up, it took around five minutes, get the panels deployed, turn on some electronics, get it plugged in and we're up and running off grid, running whatever loads we need, in this case, our sprinkler system to water this field. So if you're done for the day, let's see how fast we can get everything shut down and on the road. So we'll head on over. First, we're gonna stow all our panels. Again, we can use our hydraulic controls. Get it all lowered and locked in place. Controller back inside our cabinet. We can stow our side panels first. Again, easy glide system. They just go right back in to the stowed orientation. The other side here, we get our cabinets closed up. Unhook our power. I'm not going far, so I'm gonna leave everything on and running. Close up here, and then finally, we're gonna stow our lower panels. Again, these go right back in. and then lock in place. And so there we have it. Everything's stowed, ready to go and get back on the road.